Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and today I have another product to show you. I want to say thank you real quick to Stanley for shipping this out to me to, to do this review. So stay with me. I'm going to take a look at the Stanley Prep and Eat Fry Pan System. I hope you enjoy. This is part of the Adventure Series. This is rugged and essential. This is a 32 ounce, nine piece fry pan set. And in this set, you get a fry pan, you get a trivet, two plates, two sporks, a spatula, a cutting board, and a lid, which could be doubled as a plate. So this is a stainless steel. Everything is BPA free. Silicone trivet, polypropylene, cutting board and the utensils are nylon and this is again like I mentioned it is in a nesting system Stanley has produced outdoor adventure since 1913 so you can check them out on Instagram and on Facebook this is a lifetime warranty product and this is a three ply frying pan meaning, meaning that it has a very thick base this is the same exact fry pan that you guys saw in my Stanley Adventure Base Camp Cook Set video, this is this is pretty cool. And I, I mentioned everything that comes in the kit already. Uh, Multi-layer ba base on frying pan creates even heating. One eight eight stainless steel won't rust. Naturally BPA free. Collapsing spatula brings the ease of out indoor cooking outdoors. Silicone trivet protects table surfaces. The nesting system saves space when packing or storing and flexible cover locks the system together for easy packing. This is all dishwasher safe. It's all BPA free and I'm going to open it up here. We're going to take a look and see what's inside. So the first thing we see, everything is nice and well packaged together. Everything's got a good feel to it. You know, I, I feel like I could throw this in my pack and not have any issues you know with it staying together the lid fits pretty tight on the pan pretty cool this could be doubled as a plate later on but I don't know why we would need that because next to the cutting board which is very nice wow that's a nice little cutting board nice cutting board very nice cutting board is next then we have some instructions here is the spatula got a little slide release buckle spatula just like in the base camp cook set thought that was pretty cool got two sporks and like I mentioned using the lid as a double for a plate there's not really a need for that because we have right here two plates two plates here plates are nice they're stanley-pmi.com hopefully you can see that made in China BPA free dishwasher safe microwave safe and it says do not microwave empty so make sure you have some food in there pretty cool pretty cool little plates those are good good plates and we have a little trivet this is the same trivet that comes in the base camp cook set so if you're going to be cooking in an RV or something and you got this hot fry pan and you want to set it down on your surface it's not going to burn your table or anything like that that trivet so you can set the hot fry pan there pretty cool so this little slide here on the handle if you have it up towards the end here you can squeeze these together and when you squeeze those together that allows you to collapse this handle and it fits right nice and solid on the bottom of the pan so when you get this thing and you pull it off and you want to put this in a position to cook when this thing pops into place right here then you can run this down towards the handle and what that does 
is that stops your ability to squeeze these together which stops the ability for them to unhook now notice the thick area here on the bottom of the fry pan this is what they refer to as their three ply and this is what they use to make sure that the heat distribution is very even across the whole surface of the bottom of the pan so here we are with our tape measure it's not quite nine inches it's right about eight inches eight inch fry pan pretty nice on stainless steel so it's gonna last a long long time so now I wanna do a little cooking and I wanna take a look at this fry pan in action and see what kind of heat distribution it actually has fill these taters up this ought to be a lot of fun get these babies nice and peeled and in the process of peeling we're also going to get to try out our cutting board so we're going to pretend we're out in the field so I'm going to use just a mora knife we're going to cut these babies cutting boards are nice because you don't you're not going to damage the tip of your blade in trying to cut these so we're going to make just some little fried potatoes nothing too crazy so I'm just cutting these little chunks of potatoes here cutting board is the perfect size for cutting these little potatoes plenty of room We don't want to be cutting, you know, the potatoes on a rock or anything because we'll dull our knife real quick. So yeah, that worked out pretty good. One of the things that we get to do when we're young in the Navy is we get to peel potatoes. <laughs> no matter what your job is, it seems like you get to peel potatoes at some point. KP duty. So I'm a pretty good potato peeler, folks. Add a little water. And I'm going to put the potatoes in there so that they're nice and I like to clean them I like to wash them before I actually cook them so yeah I, I really like this cutting board this is a nice little cutting board it's working pretty good so there we go we can clean those taters out we are going to use the MSR whisper light universal stove today for this video get it going here We're going to get that fry pan. We're going to put it in liquid mode. So going nice. I've already cleaned the pan, so it's ready to go. I'm going to set that baby on there. Reach across, and right here I have just some vegetable oil. I keep it in a little Nalgene bottle. I believe that the oil is just about ready so I'm gonna take a small piece here and just pop it in there and see what it looks like yep it's kind of dancing around a little bit so I think the oils ready I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat just a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and start or adding these potatoes making sure that they're not wet I don't want wet water in the in the hot oil perfect size nice little spatula I'm gonna use one of the plates to kind of set my spatula on so I don't get so I don't get my stuff dirty you can tell that there's a very even cooking of the potatoes so they're not lying when they say that the bottom of the pan is very good at hit heat distribution look at how nice the whole pan is heating up that's working out pretty well now we're gonna add a little bit of garlic salt give us a little bit of flavor there I like them a little bit garlicky yeah look at that good 
stuff. It's gonna take, oh you can smell it, it smells good. What do you say we try our spatula here? Get these babies turning here. Spatula works pretty good. Perfect for this frying pan. Look at that. Get them starting to turn. Boy, those are smelling good. Those, those potatoes smell good. Mm. I'm impressed at how well the even heating is on this pan. The, the, the oil, you can see that it's cooking everywhere. Very nice fry pan for the money. I really like it. I think Stanley has definitely delivered in this pan without a doubt. Normally when I cook these potatoes, I cook them in cast iron because I like the heat distribution on cast iron. And it's no joke, folks. Uh, I'm honestly telling you that this heat distribution of this pan is very similar to what I'm getting out of my cast iron pans. Well, these taters are just about done. Time to turn them again. Look at that. Oh, they look delicious. Looks like my heat's a little bit on the hot side. These babies are almost done. Turn this heat down. Put a towel on the lid. And I'm going to start dumping these potatoes out onto this area right here. Boy, those look good. I like mine a little crunchy. Ooh, them are going to be bomb. Mm -mm -mm. That fry pan did an amazing job. Very good little fry pan. Those potatoes are going to be tasty. Without a doubt. Mm. Those look good. And the spatula is the perfect size. Look at them taters. Mm. They're still a little hot, but they're excellent. Mm. Those are good. Taste the same as if I cooked them in cast iron. They have that crunch to them. That garlic salt's delicious. My final thoughts are this is a great fry pan. It takes a little time to heat up, but once it's nice and hot, it stays hot. The heat distribution is amazing. The handle never got hot during the cooking. The cutting board and trivet, I mean, they, they all worked phenomenal. The utensils, they held up great. So in my honest opinion, I, I think it's a great set. I really do. I think it's a good, good fry pan. It worked perfect, you know, over my Whisperlite Universal. I'm sure if you had a Svea 123 or a Universal or any little backpacking stove, you could probably use this, this fry pan. It worked great for me. I just really enjoyed doing this video. The potatoes turned out perfect. It was a lot of fun, and uh, once again, thank you to Stanley for sending this my way for review. As far as I can tell right now, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big plus. It's a big positive. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it took it a little time to cool down because of the thick three-layer, three-ply uh, base layer here. This thick layer just distributes the heat really well and it, as a result of that it took a little time uh, like I mentioned for it to cool down but you know I'm not knocking it I, that's just part of the that's just part of the, of the of the deal if you want even heating that's the 
the uh, sacrifice that you need to make to get that. So uh, I think it's a huge success. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and if you like the type of content that you see on my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day. Now go out there and take a look at the Stanley fry pan set. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Bye-bye now.